everybody, and welcome to Happy Hour. Pull up a seat, grab an alcoholic beverage, or any beverage of your choice, and welcome and listen to the smooth sailings, the smooth sounds of of us three. I am Ryan. Uh, we got, of course, I gotta I gotta pull up my other thing. We got Ashley. Ashley, how are you doing? What you what you sip? What you what you sipping on? I thought we were supposed to do a thing where we open our drink on air and you can do I that he did not like open I, my drink i can't really i have a i'm yeah, sorry no, no you're fine would you well but then did you can you would you like to crack on open and uh go for it i'm drinking a glass so i'm drinking a nice mocktail uh two parts hydrogen one part oxygen i also have my side water but i brought this as my joke um i'm going to show you but i will also explain what it is this is the um classic natty daddy <laughs> Uh, natural, <laughs> natural. The hell is that? Daddy, daddy, tall boy. It's just yeah. Daddy, tall boy. <laughs> yeah, they're really gross, and I just always think that they're really funny. I think it's like a dollar at the liquor store, but yeah, they yeah, always make sense. me laugh. But um, I wanted to try the Topo Chico um, hard seltzer, so Ooh, that's what I have. Today. Interesting. I've been seeing those around. I've been seeing a lot of ads for those around. Strawberry guava. So Ooh, I'm gonna try it. Do you think they're ever going to, like, society is ever going to become, like, instead of Natty Daddy, we're going to have, like, a Natty Mommy or something? And if so, what does that beverage contain? And is it sexist? Probably. Probably, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, the Natty Daddies are definitely kind of gross, though, too. So I picture, the head, I picture, like, the CEO of Natty, of Natty Ice kind of looks like the CEO of Bang, uh, where it definitely looks like they run that company for sure. Yeah. Definitely, just disgusting. Like, like if you look up the CEO of Bang Energy, you could be like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I, I agree. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> like, I feel like I feel like it's the same thing for Natty Ice, for Natty Ice, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, that, like the CEO probably looks like, yeah. <laughs> oh, I was... my! I forgot to introduce our other person, so I should probably do that. Uh, we also, we also have. And his name is John Cena! Yes, it is me. I am John Cena. That was so loud! That was so, that was so loud in my my eardrums. I was John Cena, see? I threw my hat into the crowd. I was... I got a new soundboard. I got a new soundboard. Do you guys like it? Yes. It's I love great. it. It's wonderful. Anyway, I'm Freddy, and I'm drinking uh, Jack. I feel like it's super loud, though. Is it super loud? I don't think so. Okie dokie. Sounds super loud. I can't do Ryan Nightsy in the morning. I, I can't do it. Okie dokie. Now I need to find my hat because I'm insecure about my hair. I don't know where it went. I threw it too far. I got a new soundboard full of uh, full of meme oh, meme bits. So you know. Yeah, so... Do you have any Kirby noises on there? Like, hi! Um, let's, let's see. Uh... Oh! A little bit of the bubbly! Does that a count? A little bit of the bubbly! <laughs> that count as one? Yeah, that That's was, just, that was Kirby. just Kirby inhaling Chris Jericho. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Perfect. Well, yeah, so that'll have, like, an icebreakers... Y2K, Y2K, Y2 Kirby. Yeah, exactly. I don't have any icebreakers for the opening bit. So, like, how are you guys going? How's it going? How's how are you all doing? How are you all holding up uh, doing good. this weekend? Oh, good, good. Doing good. I just made some bomb fried chicken. I'm loving it. I'm so excited. I just love cooking and stuff, and it makes me happy when I cook something that tastes good. Very so nice. Did you use your air fryer? Because I, I'm thinking I should get one. I an did air fryer. not use my air fryer for the fried chicken. However, however, the other night I did make. Uh, so I took, what I did in my air fryer was I took crescent rolls and I unrolled them. Like, like the, the pre like, you know, like the Pillsbury, like the ones when you pop it open and it scares you. Uh, no. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah they're yeah. terrifying. Like, yeah. Uh, you, they have like the crescent rolls that you have to like roll up and then bake. So I yes. had them unrolled. I put peanut butter and jelly on the inside, rolled them up, brushed them down with melted butter and sprinkled cinnamon on top. And then I air fried them at like 350 for maybe like eight minutes and they came out like so good okay but why though <laughs> because it was delicious that's why it this tasted like... absolutely amazing and you can't tell me otherwise that is the epitome of like stoner food though <laughs> what do you mean absolutely well it's just like the weirdest combination and just 
putting it both together and like, okay, this needs to happen. This needs to go directly in the air fryer and consume it. But because I've done that before where I've put peanut butter and jelly in a tortilla and then put it on the stove. But I was extremely high when I did it. <laughs> Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> I hate it so much. <laughs> what do you mean? Ryan's absolutely gonna abuse. Objection! I I do object Obje actually. You have, you have Phoenix right on there, but you're not Kirby. Yeah, I actually have an objection, and that is that this is a great idea. This this <laughs> soundboard. I think the power that this c contains inside me uh, is it's it's just great. I how think it's the, gonna be great. How did the PB and J tortilla turn out? That I, I want to know. It was wonderful. Nice. I, I, I've done a lot with PB&J. My favorite thing I've ever done was take an Uncrustables and then dip it in, like, French toast mix and then fry it in butter. <laughs> You're not that guy, just, though. Trust me. You're not that guy. I was that guy because those French toast Uncrustables were amazing. I don't know. I don't know. I guess, do I have another, do I have another <laughs> objection? I think I do. It, it doesn't sound like that would be good. Uh, like, that's the thing. How is that like how? how? It what do you mean, how? how? Like, it's not going to be good. I don't. What, what can be bad about that, Ryan? Tell me. Go ahead. What's bad about Daddy peanut chill. butter jelly and being fr and French toast? Uh, many things. Many things uh, are better than peanut butter jelly. Well, first of all, jelly sucks. That's my that's my hot take of the week. Mm. Jelly sucks. Get it off my sandwiches completely. Mm. Um, don't like that. No. Also, yeah. Well, I don't like Uncrustables. I don't like jelly because I don't like jelly. Jelly's gross and should be only saved for cheese and crackers. Well, I love, I love like that. like a scholar that I am. Well, wait, wait. And crackers. I'm just gonna have grapes. Jelly, cheese, and crackers. Yes. Well, yeah, that, it, I, I could see that. What? Yeah, have you ever had, like, like, cheese, and crack, like, cheese, and, like right. cheese and grapes before? N no. Oh, it's really good. You should try it. <laughs> I like, can't uh, with this like, board. I can't. Like, I cheese, cheese, grapes, and a cracker is, like, one of my I've favorite. Had... It's, it's, like, a great, like, hors d'oeuvre, like, um... Cheese and uh, apple. But... What's the, the charcuterie board? Thing. Yes, I'm a big charcuterie board guy. I love me a nice, a nice cheese, some jams, a nice prosciutto. Uh, I love me a, <laughs> a I love nice me. prosciutto. A nice prosciutto. So I love me some. some maybe some gabagool. Maybe some gabagool. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> I've ever, ever heard the TikTok sound where someone made the song where it's like to, it's the it's um a parody of um uh. Eleanor Rigby by the Beatles, and it's Tony Soprano, New Jersey mobster who cares for the ducks by the pool, loves Gabagool, and it's yeah. just very funny. Fatality. Yes. Yeah. I love that one. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It just brings, it just, something about it just brings out the, it just brings out the New Jersey in me. Anything that I mentioned, Tony Soprano, I just... All of a sudden, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> I'm a New Jersey Italian. How goes it? Ryan's still trying to find the perfect sound for the soundboard. Here it is. Here it comes. Here it comes. We've been waiting for it on the edge of our seats. He's been loading it up for a while. What's it going to be? Ryan, why don't you show us? Where is it? Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the white man. Ay. You're really bringing dad. back. You're bringing back some old vines, huh? <laughs> you're just, you're just, you, Ryan just, Ryan just looked up like a vine compilation on YouTube and was like, here it is. Here's my soundboard. You oh, have he needs God. some milk. Hey guys, <laughs> <another one. laughs> Look, man, this soundboard is revolutionary for the and podcast, what, I think. What's, what's next? Road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. That's my, one of my favorites. <laughs> it's so good. Road work ahead. Uh, yeah, I sure hope it does. And I know. Um, so that guy in that vine reminds me of Ryan so much. Mm -hmm. Like Drew Gooden and Ryan Knightsey are very, to me, are very similar. You're actually not the first person to draw that comparison. They have, you just have like you have like very similar inflections. Like the you're both you're both tall. You both have very similar inflections. You both have a very similar sense of humor. It like whenever I'm watching a video of his, I can literally see you doing a bit just like it. If you were like, if we were like hanging out in like with the Dirty Boys or something, like it literally, it was. I, I could see you doing it. 
Are they the same person? I guess I'll never know. <laughs> I think this soundboard's revolutionary for the podcast. So I'm going to keep it. Do you guys oh agree? God. Do you guys think I should keep it? Uh, listen, you're going to keep it regardless of what we say. So Yeah, exactly. No, God, please, no. no. That's us whenever you hit a button. <laughs> No, I. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. Why are you pulling me? I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, are, we are what? Like 10 minutes into the podcast right now? This is like, done, we've done nothing. We, this we've is done the... nothing but listen to Ryan play on his soundboard. <laughs> I think this is a great podcast. And if, if you're. I haven't even explained what this show is. Does it need an explanation? I don't think it does. I honestly don't think this should. I think what you're listening is the explanation it needs, and it's just me being a little dickling the entire for an hour. I think that's all it is. I think that's all this show is. That, 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 I guess it is, man. I guess it is. Um. Well, I don't have another. I don't have another segment. Uh, I just have a lot more soundboard stuff. That's that's, that's taking us to the next segment. Do we have any other segments in the show? Let me check my notes. Do you have any other segments? Uh, I don't believe so. Okay, well then we'll just be in the soundboard city forever. Okay, well let's see. Let me have any more soundboards. Did I, I think I've almost played them all that I had prepared. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Did I ever... This is just me. This is just, cut this out. <laughs> this is not a podcast. This is just me on a soundboard. No discussion is being had. It's just me waiting to play a soundboard. I mean, meme. I'm the one. I'm the host. But you guys aren't bringing it to the table. I want need y'all to bring it to the table. Ryan, what you're playing. You're just do? playing old vines. What do you mean? Are, I, okay. I converse. Nothing converse. Of. Have a conversation with each other. I'm the one here with the soundboard. I brought the soundboard to the table. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my breath. I'm losing my breath because over this because I'm gonna die over this because I, I brought the soundboard to the table and you know and you guys aren't having a conversation. Right? What, you, what is my is it my job to make you guys have the conversation? No, it's your job to be on the soundboard that every time you play a thing, it distracts from our conversation. Yeah, exactly. Where's the party horn? I'm just waiting for the party horn. Where is it? Daddy, chill. <laughs> that one I can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like the, <gasps> and they were roommates. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that is, Mikey. <laughs> you ever see that one? All right, never mind. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, I'm just saying that the soundboard is what I brought to the table, and I think you guys need to pick up the slack. Listen, well, we were your test audience, and this is what you've given us, so... If you want me to pick up the slack, Ryan, uh, I do have a game we could play. Oh, okay, hold on. <laughs> or is, would this one be better, actually? <laughs> Can you say it again? Let's let's get a cl let's get that yeah, clean, yeah, yeah, Mikey. Yeah, let's let's restart everyone. Hold on, uh, let's, let's a quick rerun. If if we need, if you want me to bring something to the table, I have a game we could play. These nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. I don't know what I expect. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my game, everybody. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to hell. I'm the third circle of hell. It's just me. It's just Ryan it's just is the me. third, fourth, and fifth circles of hell. Yes, welcome. What is, what is your game, Mikey? Okay. So I, I like the I like the idea of you guys bringing in games. It's like it it brings in that happy hour mentality that this is we're all having fun here. Are we? Are we having fun? Are we? Are we having fun? <laughs> so my game, my game is uh, it doesn't really ha it doesn't really have a name. I'm just calling it the obscure championship quiz. Sure. Uh, because I am going to bring you an obscure championship from the world of pro wrestling, and then I'm going to give you four multiple choice options. And what you have to do mm -hmm. is you have to guess who the first ever person to hold the title was. That's my Ducky. Glad Ryan's on board. <laughs> oh my god. Ashley. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, you don't have my soundboard with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm not up for it. Well, I'm I'm. What when you say obscure? How obscure are we talking? Are we talking? Um, there's some there's some that are what more well known than others. I'll say that. Okay. There's one on here that I'm pretty sure everyone 
will probably know. It's not, like, there's a few on here that aren't that obscure, but, like, the history of them is a little muddled. Sure. Okay. Let's let's do it. What, right. what? So the first championship I have... Should, we, not, should, should I have music for this? Hold on. I've... Welcome to a, to a guest game with Mikey Manfredi. Okay, now now I have to read all the questions. Like, oh, sorry. Yes. No, don't unbutton your shirt. We're online on Twitch. It. You're buttoning on it Twitch. because you made me uncomfortable with the music. <laughs> I, the music was so sexy and that you're buttoning up game. your shirt. <laughs> I'm buttoning up my shirt so we don't give off the wrong vibes, Ryan. We're a family stream. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> anyway. Anyway. So, question number one. The first championship I have here is the FCW Jack Briscoe 15 Championship from uh, WWE's old developmental program, FCW. A little bit mm. of background. The FCW Jack Briscoe 15 Championship was a professional wrestling championship contested only in 15-minute Iron Man matches by Florida Championship Wrestling. A medal, a medal was held by the title holder, not a belt. It was like a gold medal. Interesting. Rather than a championship belt, and it, is primar- and it says it is primarily used in professional wrestling, which I think was a given. Yeah, it sounds a lot like like the TV NWA TV title, yes. but at least like now they do like the six minute five second rule. Mm-hmm. But now it's I- Iron Man match for fifteen minutes. The That's fifteen a- minute Iron Man match that has to be defended at every time. So Ooh. your your four multiple choice options for who the first champion was are Richie Steamboat, so, son of son of, son of uh, dra- the Dragon. Of course, I would imagine. I didn't look, listen. I didn't look more into it than title history. What are you doing, man? You coming with this, these games? I know. Steamboat, <laughs> Damian Sandow, Seth Rollins, or Hunico. Hunico, is that? Well, you didn't look it up, so I don't know. But I think Hunico was um, the second Sin Cara. Yes, I believe so. Okay. That that I actually do. <laughs> So those are your hmm. options. Well, I know that Steamboat was in FCW. I, I imagine all of these guys were in FCW at one point. I assume it just... makes sense. They were all they were all uh, they were all WWE talent at, at, at one point. So it makes sense that they went through FCW. I f- Ashley, what do you think? I know for sure Seth Rollins was, but that's the only one I know for sure. Hmm. I think my guess, honestly, is going to go with Damien Sandow. That was going to be my guess. Damien Sandow, um, huh? Yeah, because because I don't know if Seth Rollins was an FCW at that point. To be the first champion, I don't think. I think because I think Seth Rollins came into FCW later. Mm-hmm. So I don't think he would have been the first champion of that. Um, Hunico, No. I don't think he would be the 15 minute Iron Man champion. No. Steamboat, I, I, I think say. I think Steamboat's a possibility, but I think like this title is representative of like the workhorse, which isn't really Damian Sandow and I, Sandow either. So I don't know, I, I, but I don't know. Something just Damian Sandow feels if like. If it, it makes your choice easier, I will say all of these all of these answers were were the FCW. Jack Briscoe 15 champion at one point, except for one of them. Okay. Is that Hunico? No, he won't tell. He won't tell. Okay. Well, I'm going to lock in my answer as Damien Sandow. I'll, I'll just go Seth Rollins. The answer is Seth Rollins. Actually, you were correct. Boo. Boo. Seth Rollins and Ryan, you were correct. The only one on this list who hasn't won it is Hunico. He lost, yeah. <laughs> he lost it. I think he lost in the finals against Seth Rollins. I'll get that consolation prize right there. He lost in the finals against Seth Rollins. He was the the, the runner up in that match. He was, he was he was he was the loser in that match. Oh, there we go. I I'll take the runner up. Wait, he was still in the okay. Well, that's he was, it was like a, it was, yeah. He was he was in a match for it, but he didn't win it. Ah, uh, interesting. And a contender for the t- for the. Well, I was gonna say title. It's a. Uh, a medal. Yeah. 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 All right. I like, I like the idea of it being a medal. I, yeah, I was talking about. It's, it's, oh, uh, speaking of speaking of the FCW 15 uh, Jack Briscoe 15 championship, this is what the medal looked like. If anyone was curious, it is on the Twitch stream right now. Ooh, beautiful. Uh, I will send it to you guys. Twitch Twitch TV forward slash count out. As you say that, you say that to the people who are probably watching. 
Well, these are for their listeners, the podcast listeners. We we record these every Thursday night at eight thirty. Twitch twitch.tv forward slash countout. Oh man, the the group chat is not gonna like this. But <laughs> if you check the group chat, I did send a picture of it so you can see it closer. The group chat's gonna be very confused at what this is. Yep. So, and then that's just like there's the that's the FCW fifteen champion. It looks like he was made in like the same place that like you would get participation trophies for a soccer team. Yep. Definitely made it in like 15 minutes, right? On a um, sash or like a nice ribbon around it would be very mm-hmm. lovely. Mm-hmm. Are, they, are we talking the green ribbon for FCW? Because I think they were, it was green promotion colors, I think. I think it was black from pictures I saw. But I think like it around somebody's neck. I think the, hmm. the strap was black. A classic wrestling option. Yeah. Uh, know, anyway, just make it black. I don't care. Question number two. Question number two. Sure. The, this, one, this one's a little more well known. Uh, not as obscure, uh, but the title history is very muddled because it is the DDT Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Championship. Oh boy! <laughs> oh open, boy! Open to anyone. The championship is defended anytime, anywhere, as long as the referee is there to confirm the win, like the twenty four seven championship in WWE. Because of this rule, the title is also available to unconventional champions such as animals or inanimate objects. With the title, with title changes regularly occurring outside of regular shows, often with videos posted on promotions, social, social media accounts. So this yeah. is the promotion DDT. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you, basically, we all this title is like the twenty four seven championship. As it, with you could be won by any one anytime. It was like the twenty four seven championship, but on like steroids. Yeah. Like, I, it, you know, it. A lot of it, uh, the popularity in America is named after someone. It's it's because of someone who shall not be named. But like it was like you like referees won it, books have won it, and the audience of a show won it. Yeah. Uh, and then they tapped out by like tapping the uh, the uh, th- the ring. Um, someone won it. I think Candice LeRae won it in a dream, uh, in a dream sequence. Like it's like it, it's all over the place. I think a bo- the Young Bucks book I think won it at one point. <laughs> The it's, Young Bucks book won it. Yes, I remember that. I remember they were like posting on Twitter. Dean Malenko, I think, beat the book or something. Or I think or maybe the book beat him for it. I don't remember. So your options for the first ever DDT Iron Man Heavy Metal Weight Champion are Masayuki Okano, Yuko Miyamoto, oh A Pint of Beer, or Poison Julie Sawada. A lot of names. You know, these are old school DDT wrestler names. That I don't know. I do know a pint of beer. I'm very familiar with that one, <laughs> yeah. that wrestler. A pint, uh, recurring, a pint of beer or recurring guest on the happy hour. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I don't think it's a pint of beer. I'm going to eliminate the pint of beer in my head. You don't think the pint? You don't think the pint of beer was the first? I don't. If you're going to establish a championship, I don't think you're establishing a championship but with a, a championship pint of beer. Is ridic- a, a, a championship as ridiculous as that. A pint of beer would be a good second winner. <laughs> <laughs> and how does a how does a pint of beer win anyway? Do you like knock somebody, out like somebody probably passed out on the bar and it like fell over on their hand and the ref was like one two three yeah or like it, yeah. It, it's like a it's like a chokehold sort of thing where it's a submission the pint of beer is is making made them pass out and then, and then they pass <laughs> out and the referee yeah. has to do the arm thing <laughs> that, was, that, that I feel like that was definitely the spot yeah. that's great uh I don't remember any of the names you even gave. <laughs> So, Masayuki Mas- Mas- Okano, sure. Yuko-, Yuko Miyamoto, a pint of beer, or Poison Julie Sawada. Do you have any idea, Ashley? I want to say a pint of beer. I also want to say the last one, because that name sounds so badass. But I'm going to go with a pint of beer. It's I'm gonna go... Even if I'm wrong, it sounds so good. I'm going to go with B. Y- uh, Yuko Miyamoto? Sure. Okay. I like yeah. Miyamoto. The answer is Poison Julie Damn Sawada it. is the one who introduced the title and claimed themselves champion right off the bat. Damn, son, where'd you find this? <laughs> and what that belt looks like is this. Uh, we've all seen it. It is a, a par- it is a, a, basically a parody of the, uh, it started off as a parody of the WWE uh, Hardcore Championship. No, no kidding. <laughs> no. <laughs> no kidding. I I like that belt. I like because it's. I like that it's just stupid and dumb, and that like anyone can win it. Mm. Like I, you know, some people like don't really like comedy in the wrestling or whatnot. But I, like I think it's in five minutes. 
Yeah, it looks ridiculously stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it looks, looks so dumb. But I like it. It's like it has that charm, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, next up, question number three. We have the TNA World Beer Drinking Championship. The World... Oh, I'm sorry, the what? T- the TNA World Beer Drinking Championship was introduced on November 11th, 2007 at TNA's Genesis pay-per-view event. It was active until February 26th, 2008, when the title belt was destroyed at the taping of the March 6th, 2008 episode of TNA's television program, TNA Impact. So it didn't last long. <laughs> so it's can, so short. Can you please send that one immediately? Yeah, like, I, really... I need to... Oh, I'll, I'll put that one up right now immediately on the stream, and then I'll send it to you guys. But this one I need is no. Yeah, this one is like the WWE spinner belt, but on the spinner there is just a beer bottle. Oh my god! I have an idea already off the bat about one of the options, if not the winner of the inaugural belt. Okay, here's the here's the belt in the in the group chat if you want to take a closer look. But it's literally a spinner belt, and on the spinner is just a, a, a Budweiser bottle. It looks like. Oh my god. Um. So the options for this one are Eric Young, Taz, okay. aka Frankie Kazarian, James Storm, or Rhino. <laughs> I had it written Ryan down, brother Chucker. I had it written down, ready to go. James Storm all the way, known Ryan for has, drinking beer. Ryan has his answer, actually. Yeah, there's no contest. There you go. Yeah, I would, I would, is, I would. It's indeed, James Storm. Is the I player. would reckon that James Storm is the only ch- <laughs> title holder of that belt. Uh, I think him and him and Eric Young fought over it for a while. Oh, okay. I think they, I think they had, I think, I think uh, James Storm was the two-time champion, and Eric Young won it once. So they be, their feud together was just who's a better who's better at drinking beer, and then yeah. the title only lasted as long as that feud did. It sounds this like this yeah, belt is insane. It. Yeah, it's terrible. It has, a bottle, it? it has bottle caps on it. It looks like they bought a replica WWE spinner and then just like glued a bunch of stuff to it. It looks like yeah, it looks like someone made it in their garage. Yeah, right. That but looks they, so dumb. <laughs> it's so bad. It's can so we make bad. a count out belt? I kind of want. I, listen, it, this is not the first time this conversation has come up. Me and Ryan have talked about this a couple of times because we were like, what if we made a belt and then gave it to the winner of the season of a hit the book season? But then I, we realized shipping it between New Jersey and Atlanta would be a lot of money. Yeah, I think this belt is the spinner belt. And then that's they just I'm put saying. a beer bottle on top yeah, of it. That's what I'm saying. It's the spinner belt and they glued a bunch of stuff to it. That's I'm hilarious. We did that. Oh, my God. All right. It's question amazing. number four. How many questions have we got here, bud? Uh, I, I have 10, but I can make that less. You have 10? Oh my god. I, listen, I brought, I brought 10, but I'm will obviously I'm willing to make adjustments. We don't have to do all 10. There is no reason to do all 10. Okay. Uh, we have... Because my, my game, I was the game that has 10 questions, too. Alright, then, then we'll, we'll keep mine short. Let's see. Let's pick a good one here. Here, I'll I'll, I'll 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 have a good uh, way to uh, get around this. All right, we have the next one. We have the NWA World Brass Knuckles Championship. <laughs> okay. The NWA World Brass Knuckles Championship was a short-lived <laughs> title promoted by the National Wrestling Alliance (NWA) Mid America Territory from 1978 until 1981. The championship was used in specialty matches where combatants would wear brass knuckles. Jesus. Okay. Wow. And your options are Wow. Gypsy Joe, Ron R- Ron Thanks. Wright, Rick Connors, or Don Fargo. These are the most NWA names yep. I've ever heard in my life. I just yes, like sir. the name Don Fargo, so <laughs> I love me some Don Fargo. <laughs> Uh, and if you want to know what that one looks like, I'll put it in the chat. Can you yes, can please. you tell me can you tell me what Don Fargo looks like? <laughs> I cannot tell you what Don, Don Fargo Ooh, probably I'll, looks. I'll look Don, I was like, Don Fargo probably looks exactly like how you expect Don Fargo to look. I, I think he, I think he's definitely got a beard. Obviously, Don Fargo. Oh so if you, if you look my up the screen, god! The brass knuckles champion. What? There. Ashley, what? He's very scary. <laughs> oh man! Is is he? Did he just, <laughs> oh my god! 
Don Fargo. Um, well, I, 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 you gotta go Don Fargo. I think you gotta go Don Fargo here. He, he's a guy. He's scary. Slap him some bee knucks on onto his hands, making him an, make him an echidna, and then you know he can just go out there and beat up some. I will say babies. all of these guys were the champion at one point. Of course, it's of just course. matter of who the first is. It's obvious. I'm I'm going for it. Don Fargo, Donnie Fargs. Ashley. Don, oh, I first said Don Fargo. How dare you? <laughs> the answer is the answer is Gypsy Joe. Was the Gypsy ever Gypsy Knuckles champion. Gypsy Joe is also very good. I don't know if it's a name as good as Don Fargo though. I don't want to. They're very they're very NWA names, like you said. No, yeah, I think Don Fargo is just a better name. I sent you both a picture of Don Fargo. <laughs> I love, oh, Don Fargo looks like he kills people, dude. This is him in his later days. Is that him with the Brass Knuckles Championship? No, that is some other bullshit. (laughs) It says, like, beat the something? Something heavyweight champion? Beat the cock heavyweight champion? All right, next up. Don Fargo looks awesome. I would Don Fargo night. Ryan, we got it. Ryan, we got to start going. We got to start moving. You have a game, too. Oh, my God. Next up, (laughs) we have... The AWA British Empire Championship. The AWA British Empire Heavyweight Championship was a short-lived mid-card professional wrestling title contested for the American Wrestling Association promotion between 1969 and 1979. The title was primarily defended in Canada, hence the British Empire name. Don Fargo looks like Taz if he grew up in Brooklyn and not Long Island. (laughs) Don Fargo is Taz and MB Young if they could mesh together. <laughs> That's what Don Fargo looks like. Don Fargo has beaten someone up with a roll of newspaper. Yep. <laughs> All right. So your options for the AWA British Empire Championship, the first champion is, are all four Don Fargo. No, <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. <laughs> it's you got Doctor X. Sorry, hold on. Let me go in order. You have Super Destroyer Mark II. Uh, you, might, you might know you might know Super Destroyer Mark II as Sergeant Slaughter. Oh, interesting. Billy Red Lions, Doctor X, or Billy Robinson. Billy Robinson, interesting. Uh, what was his title again? <laughs> I've got distracted the by title Don Fargo. Is AWA British Empire Championship. Ah, so not Sergeant Slaughter. Well, because... right, well, then he was Super Destroyer Mark II. That's true, but I think that the, you got to go with a British guy for this British championship. So can you give me that list of names? And Ashley and I, I want you, we need to think of what's the most British name ever. Super Destroyer Mark II. No. Billy no. Red Lions, spelled mm. L-Y-O-N-S. Oh, yeah. more, more British. <laughs> Dr. X, like the letter okay. X. Uh, yeah. And Billy Robinson. Billy Robinson, classically British. I'm going to go with that. I think the Lions. Lion, I'm really thinking Lions, too. Do we have to come to a consensus a Consensus or no, against each other? I'm, I'm thinking Lions. I'm thinking Lions. Give me that red lion. If you are if you are both thinking Lions, you are both correct. The <laughs> first ever uh, the first ever British Empire Championship was held by Billy Red Lions. Yeah, can baby. I, can I make a quick disclaimer? Um, sure. Looking at more pictures of... Uh, Don Fargo. Don Fargo? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't be such a fan. <laughs> what do you mean? What's wrong with Don Fargo? There's a lot of symbols on this well. man that I'm. Oh. <laughs> Don, Don Fargo? What, what kind of symbols are we talking about? Anyway, oh. this is. I, I, I typed in Don Fargo on Twitter, and the, the first autocomplete is tattoos. Yes. So, uh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no, Don Fargo! You can't be doing to this this to me, Don Fargo. <laughs> he has a swastika tattoo on his shoulder. Great. Oh no, I can't oh, support no, Don Fargo. He's been now, no longer can we support Don Fargo. We cannot I'm, support Don Fargo. I'm canceling Don Fargo. Anyway, this is the AWA British Empire Championship on screen right now. Uh, it is. It's very. None unre- of these are pretty. It, it's very unreadable. <laughs> It's just like gold on gold, and it's very mm. unreadable, I would say. Um, but uh, I think I'm good. I think I'm gonna hit you with one more here. Okay. Can I support Jackie Fargo, who was his tag team partner for a while? I don't know. I think I think he could be fine, John, Jackie Fargo. Uh, he seems fine based on. We're changing our support to Jackie Fargo, I think. Okay. Deal. 
He served as a mentor for Jerry the King Lawler. Look at that. Well, <laughs> and he was born on my birthday. Jackie Fargo all the way, baby. <laughs> okay. The verdict's out. Still on that one. So, here is my last one. I'm going to call it after this one. Okay. So, my last one is... Hold on, let me get rid of the... There we go. My last is one the is, Don Fargo Memorial Championship. No. My last one is indeed the none other. I lost my pace. Give me one second. <laughs> is indeed none other than the WWF World Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship. Oh no! Okay. Now the, the WWF World Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship was defended at WWF and later in New Japan Pro Wrestling. It was created on December 18, 1978. The title was known for being contested in matches billed as shoot wrestling fights. The WWF World Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship was contested solely in New Japan Pro Wrestling after, after the promotion became unaffiliated with the WWF in, the, in 1985. So when New Japan split from WWF, they took the uh, World Martial Arts Heavyweight Championship with them. Can you tell me who the last reign of the... Uh, I don't know who the last person was, too. I can pull it up. <laughs> I, I can't look it up because I'll look up the first person. But we'll, give us the options so we can deliberate over these so, options while you look real, it up. Real quick... Uh, the final champion was Antonio Inoki. Of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> should I think? Your, why should I think anything differently? And your options for the first champion are Riki Choshu, Shota Chashi. I, I was I was never gonna oh, get this one. Shota Chach, Chachi Shivi, the uh, Antonio Inoki, or the Great Muta. Antonio Noki. Can we can we get a hint real quick? Can I ask for a hint? Can you ask for a hint? Yes. Uh, it's one of the people in these four options. Daddy, chill. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I'm just asking for a hint here. I don't I don't want to like coming at me like hard like this. It, can you tell me where the the first match for the title took place did it take place in japan or in america it took place in new york new york so probably madison square garden i imagine For, awarded by vince mcmahon himself yeah so probably msg antonio noki sounds feasible but antonio noki i don't know i'm liking it i'm gonna tell you, tell you for a fact not the Great Muda. 100%. I know for a fact it's not the Great Muda. Great Muda didn't exist till the 90s. It would have been Keji Muto at this point. Mm. My, lights, my lights turned off. Jesse turned on my lights. It would have been Keji Muto at this point in time. And I think he might have been still been the Young Lion. I am going to go Antonio Noki. Ashley? Uh, what do you think? Honestly, no clue. I, it could be Ricky Choshu, but I don't think it would be Ricky Choshu. I think it would probably be Anoki. Because if you're going to have someone in MSG for a new title, that's a partnership of New Japan. He is the booker probably at the time. I'm probably I'm going to go with Anoki. I will say all of these people were, were all of these people were the champion at one point. Sure, including, including Muta. Interesting. Who won it in? Sorry, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, well, I'm I'm go, I'm going with Anoki here. Um, I'll go A, just because, why not? A is Ricky Choshu. Yeah. The answer is indeed Antonio Inoki, Ryan. Antonio Inoki was the first and the last champion. And Great Muda won it in 1990. Great Muda won it off of Ricky Choshu in 1992. Okay, there you go. Antonio Inoki, at it again. So this is the this is the WWF uh, World Martial Arts Championship. If you, of course, you give it to Antonio Noki. Uh, he the guy created Nokiism, which is all about shoot wrestling. So of course, you're going to be interested in the idea. Yes. You have him in MSG Madison Square Garden. You're starting a partnership. I don't know if this is the start of the partnership of New Japan, but he is the guy in New Japan. He was like the John Cena of New Japan. Um, he's no he's no he's no Jackie Fargo. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> If you want to take a closer look at the title, it is in the group chat. But 
I also have it up on stream right in the corner. God. I, I, it makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. I have oh. some more titles, but oh. I think that is my time for the game because I used a lot of it. No, I, I thought this was a fun game. I thought this was very funny. And now I have more if we do it again. Can I give you guys one more e really easy one? Okay, but why though? <laughs> because it's funny. <laughs> All right, never mind. We can move on. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. Mikey, I just. <laughs> no, it's fine. I I'll save it for next time. This was just a really easy one. <laughs> Nobody else type a soundboard. Anyways, welcome. Welcome everybody to um and I'm gonna and I'm gonna need everybody to say the name with me. Hold on, let me pull let me pull up my notes. Let me pull up my notes. Everybody say the name with me. Welcome to five, five second seven, song four. challenge. Yeah, I did it. You didn't tell me the name of the game. <laughs> you you guys all know the five second song challenge. Right? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Ashley, you know the game? No. It's, Oh, so so I do need to explain the rules? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, Five Second Song Challenge is quite simply the best game that's ever been invented on the show today. Oh, let me get the, the martial arts heavyweight championship off the screen. The Five Second Song Challenge is obviously the best game that has ever consisted uh, in this podcast recording. Okay, <laughs> thank you for that. It's <laughs> not nice. I didn't, what do you I, didn't, I didn't put a lot of work into the game. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of research or anything. <laughs> don't worry about it. We can move on. We don't all have a soundboard. Yeah, Ryan. We can't all we can't all be you. Daddy chill. <laughs> Five second song challenge. <laughs> I love you, Mikey. Five second song challenge is I'm gonna play the first five seconds of uh, a wrestling theme. Uh, and for those five seconds, you two will have to guess what wrestler that song is attributed to. Okay. Sound like fun? Sound like a good time? Yes. And, and you can roast this game all you like. Um, Ashley only, get, but Ashley only gets his privileges. Um, uh, I'm going to give you ten dollars if you guess right. Five dollars if owed to me if you guess incorrectly. Oh, oh and he's and now he's stepping up the the game because I he he gave away money and I am not. Yeah, I'm giving away money. So I, I'll make fun of you all. I'm like, and here's ten dollars for you. <laughs> I'm buying your buying your loyalty. Uh, ten dollars if you guess right. Five dollars if you get guess wrong. I'm also gonna allow like lifelines, um, kind of like who wants to be a millionaire, uh, where you can um, use your money that you've earned through the game um, as ways to get hints. So, for $1, um, I can tell you this wrestler's championship accomplishments. Uh, for $2, you get five more seconds of the song. Uh, and for $3, I will tell you the name of the song. That's the most expensive because sometimes it's super obvious. Uh, I got four categories to play today. We have um, uh, Retro, Modern, NXT, and AEW. Does anyone... What, what category would you guys like to play today? Uh, so I open up Spotify. I, I think we st I think let's start off with NXT. What I'm thinking is start off with maybe songs I might know so I could give, build up money for lifelines later for songs I don't know. Well, we're only going to play one of the categories today. Well, and we'll save, save the other stuff for later. Then, then, then if we're only playing one category today, AEW. AEW, yeah. I think, is going to be super easy. Do you want to do that one? Yes. I think it's a good. I think we need to start off easy because I'm bad at this. Okay. Um. I. I don't know what Ashley thinks. Ashley, that. what do you think? What, what do you like? Do you please? I don't want to deal with the other one. Thing. <laughs> okay. We'll save the other ones for another time. You guys are no fun. AEW. Then. Uh. You got. There's ten of these. Uh. So who would like to go? You guys will each playing together. But Mikey, pick one through ten. Uh. Seven. 
Seven. Okay, I will prep that up for y everybody, and hopefully this game doesn't get us boost booted off of Twitch. <laughs> um, that's that's the hope. That's the hope, people. So everybody, ready? Here's five second song challenge number seven. Five second song challenge. Anyone have a guess? Whoever gets the first guess that can was talk. Five seconds? That was five seconds of the first song. You guys can talk, talk about yourself, talk out your thought process. But uh, whoever has an answer, uh, let ding ding in your question. I'm terrible at name that song challenges. Even if I can also read. No, even if it's songs I know, like from like I, that I've heard a million times. I can also replay the five seconds if you guys so choose. Can you play it one more time? Sure. Everyone's going to be real paying attention this time. Here we go. And chat, if you're listening to this on Twitch, uh, if you have a guess, put it in chat. Um, guys and gals and in-betweens and none of the between. Guy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Yes. yes. What's your guess? Do you have a guess? What are you thinking? Um, What's your thought process here? To me, this seems very much something like the Varsity Blondes would do. But I don't know their theme song very well. I and I know guess... actually knows the Varsity Blondes well. I don't know the Varsity oh, Blondes well. Um, I have a guess, but I can't... I, I thought this AEW game might be harder than easier than it was, but it seems like it's turning into harder. No, you, you said it was easy, but I'm terrible at challenges like this in the first place. So that's why I was like, let's do the easy ones because I'm still probably going to suck anyway. Okay. I think I have a guess, but I think I'm super off. Okay. I have my guess, and it's the varsity bluff. Ashley? Ricky Starks. Um... <laughs> Varsity Blondes was correct. Hey. Varsity Blondes was correct. So Mikey, let me get out a pen and write this down. Mikey, you got ten dollars. Woo! I didn't think I got that one right. Uh, Ashley, you owe me five dollars. So thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Now you just pay him back what you won from uh, last week. I spent it already. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Ashley, uh, one through ten. Um. You can't pick seven. Four. Number four. Okay, gonna find this bad boy. That's not a hint. That was not a hint. <laughs> uh, here we go. First five all seconds. Oh, here's oh, I'm a bad, bad boy. <laughs> First five seconds of this song. I'll I'll raise the volume for y'all too. Help you out there a little bit. First five seconds of this song. That's five first five seconds of. What they about to say is what they about to say is to say is to say their name. That's the that's part of the song challenge. The thing about these wrestling theme songs is that like a lot of people try to get like theme songs that are very obvious, like you know who it is in the first couple of seconds. Yeah. So we have to see. We're seeing to the test whether or not you guys know who this is in the first five seconds. Were they gonna say the name? I don't know. You tell me. What's that name? Is there a wrestler on the AEW roster named? Aaron something right now. Aaron, I want to say Aaron Solo, but I feel like that's wrong. I believe you're talking about. Aaron, I believe you're talking about Aaron Solo. Is it really? Yes, member of the factory. I think it's that. That's what I'm gonna go with because you said member of the factory, and I heard the the forge sounds in that beginning. I can also replay the first five seconds. Ashley, Please what do you do. think? Yeah, replay it. I would like to hear it again. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's I think it's Aaron Solo because it sounds it sounds very much like a forge, and you said he worked in a factory, so it has like those like very mechanic. It sounds very mechanical. Not even because of the name in the beginning. Oh. <laughs> All right. Incorrect, you Mikey. You lose five dollars. You're down to five dollars. <laughs> Ashley, what do you think? I have no clue. Um, if only if only you didn't ha <laughs> owe me five dollars and yeah, you get a hint. Yeah, it was negative. Um, oh my god, I literally have no clue. Would you like to pass? Yeah, I'll pass. Okay, the pass. That means the correct answer was uh, Anna J. Mm. 
recently returned Anna J, the Queen Slayer her, herself. That was the song that title. Oh, uh, the song is saying this is Anna J, which is like the weirdest thing, like the most like hardcore way I to say. I thought it was saying name. Aaron, and I was like, that's oh. fair. That's like the most hardcore way to say the name Anna. Uh, Mikey, uh, one through ten. Uh, one. Number one. All right, already Mundo. Here he is. Number one. I'm gonna go right off the bat, Windmill Slam Hybrid 2. Ooh, incorrect, Mikey. Hybrid 2 is not the correct answer. Very nice, though. You're all confidence out the window. I, I Windmill Slam that one. It felt very, it felt very much like a, like a Hybrid 2. Down to zero. Ashley. Um, can you play it again? Play it again. Here we it are. long, too. Okay. Some songs are obvious in five seconds. Some songs aren't. Some songs are a sound effect, basically, the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so I'm getting. I'm realizing I'm really bad at this. I thought I was better. I did. I to be fair, for AEW, I tried to be as obscure as possible because I knew that we all watch AEW. Um, so I was just sort of like, I, cause I'm not going to like, I'm not going to pick like Moxley oh, or something. I was going to say, so we're not going to hear, so we're not going to hear, uh, Downstream. No, I considered putting them on the list, but no, I decided <laughs> against it. Cause I, cause I was like, no, I don't. Have to play the, you have to play the live performance because that's literally, you, no one could have any idea that, that was <laughs> Cody Rhodes' theme song. <laughs> Ashley, what do you think? Um, I'm just going to go... Pop? Your your guess is Will Hobbs. Yeah, that's so wrong. Ooh, another five dollars loss. Mikey at zero dollars. Ashley owes me ten dollars. So thank you so much, uh, Ashley. What's another guess? Oh, the answer. <laughs> Men of the Year tag team Ethan Page, oh, Scorpio you're Sky. Newer to me, so I didn't notice. Yes, the hint there was he said reach which is scorpio sky reach for the sky oh, that sort of thing uh ashley one through ten ten number ten the okay wub, the wub wubs is the last one made me think hybrid two this one i think might be the hardest oh no <laughs> i think this one might be the hardest here we go number, number ten That's it. That's all you. That's five seconds. I'm not paying you a hundred dollars. <laughs> I was hoping you guys would have some right answers so far. I got one. You got one. Mikey got one right. Um, what do you guys? Uh, what do you have? Do you have a guess? I can play it again if you like. You guys want to like that? I think the hardest ones too. I think off the bat, <laughs> just by chance. Is it hard because it's somebody who's really obscure, or is it hard? Yes. Because, okay. Yes. Is it that guy that wears the priest outfit? I no, it is no one on dark. These are all. Oh, okay. These are main dynamite people. I think everyone but one is like a main. Dynamite person, but the one is like someone who showed up. Every, all of these people have showed up on Dynamite, and, ha, and I believe it's, all of them have wrestled. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna say, is this Jamie Hater's new theme song? Incorrect. Not Jamie Hater's new theme song. Not on Spotify yet. I'm waiting for that day. Oh, Ashley it also has to be on Spotify. Yes. Ashley, do you have a guess on whose theme song this uh, is? Um, shoot. Wow, no, I'm freaking terrible at this. You want to pass again? Pass is available. Yeah, no. Okay, okay she's passing. She's passing. The answer is, the song is Hands of Stone for Anthony Agogo. Anthony Agogo, yeah. I never exactly. Remember. Yeah, like I said, the hardest one on the list. Uh, Mikey, let's keep the game going. Hopefully we can turn it all around. Uh, give me another one. Number what? three. Number three. I would argue the easiest one on this list. 
Let's see if y'all can get it. See? If not, this would be super embarrassing. As soon as I oh now 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 it. the pressure's on. Not not yeah, gonna get it. Mood. Yeah, that, now that's I'm not fair. gonna get it because you made me feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> where the hell is it on this list? Um, uh, where the hell is it? Turns oh, there it is. Can't even get it. No, I can't. Here we go. The first five seconds of this song. <laughs> Oh my know. god. You guys, neither of you know this? I know. What's your guess? Christian Cage. Christian Cage? You're going for Christian Cage? I'm just going to go with that because I don't know. Both it's incorrect. Not? It's not. It is Lance Lance Archer. Nope. Lance Archer. Oh my gosh. This is this is horrendous. This is turning into a bloodbath. Well, Ryan, we're this not getting stupid. really we're not really getting music. We're getting sound effects and hoping for the best. Okay, give me Ashley. Give me another one. Let's see if we can turn it around. Two. Two. Okay, here we go. First five seconds of number two. I know what this is. <laughs> what is it? Yeah, it definitely sounds familiar. Oh my God! What is it? <sighs> Shit. Did I already say it? <laughs> no. No, you have not. No, this person's name has not been mentioned in this entire show. I don't have money to even spend on Lifeline. No, you don't. But if you get this right, Mikey, you go up to zero. All right. You turn it all around. Um. Uh, God damn it. I and mean, I couldn't get the easiest one, so I don't know if I can get this one. You can. <laughs> Try your hardest. Try your darn darndest. Can you play it again for me? Yes, I can. The other one. Just imagine JR screaming over this. Or it's gonna be a big one. I can't do the JR impression. What about a Tony Schiavone one? No? no. Britt Baker is my best friend. <laughs> Very nice. I worked at Starbucks. I, worked at, I was a barista. I have a comic book coming out soon. Does anyone have a guess? Uh. I don't want to see. I want to guess because I want to keep things interesting, but also I don't want to owe you ten dollars. We already do. You, you're actually gonna be so angry that she I'm can't so figure this mad. out. Whoops! Clicked the wrong thing. Anyone have a guess? I want to start cheating. I'm gonna pass on this one. It's a pass again. I'm sorry, folks at home, but I thought this would be much easier. This is awful. Let's switch to NXT already. This is terrible. This is freaking torture. Do we want to switch to a different category altogether? No, I think just leave no, it. No, this now. is fine. We'll just just put through, us, yeah. yeah, we'll put us out of our misery. This is just, it's just, it's just tough. Because I'm so bad at games like this, personally. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there's people who are amazing at games like this who are screaming at the, the Twitch chat right now, but... Personally, um, I'm bad at games like this. No, I say uh, let's 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 scratch this and we'll move on to a different category altogether. How about that? I mean, if you want, I'm cool with I'm cool with staying here. I think we should switch up to a different category altogether. Are, you, let's, are they going to be just as hard? Uh, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know anymore. So we're going to scratch you guys. You're back down to zero. In fact, I'm going to give you guys start off with five dollars each. How about that? So we each have lifeline money. Yes, you guys are going to... Everyone, so for this game, everyone's going to start with $5. How about that? Thanks for I'm, making I'm, us feel like I'm so, I'm so, I'm so glad we I'm so glad we complained enough until we, until we made, changed the rules for us. Yeah. Yes. Like, wow, um, they're like, like, little bad like at the this. little babies we are. So we're going to start off. Uh, everyone's going to get $5 to begin for those lifeline money. Uh, Mikey, uh, number one through ten. I have ten songs here. Number one through ten. Uh, let's go with seven again. Seven again. Okay, hold on. Let me go pull up, pull up here on Spotify. We're, oh, I changed it. I shouldn't say the. We're doing modern category. The modern category. Um, these are all like WWE wrestlers. Modern age. Where the hell is your god? 
Uh, the bad. issue, the issue with this is that I haven't been keeping up with TV wrestling, so it's harder for me. It's just, I think it's been play. best friends theme, like it's just over and over <laughs> and over. But I could, get, I could probably get like a lot of like the really, really obvious ones, but yeah. I don't know. Oh Here we go, number seven. <laughs> I know what it is. Ashley, do you have a guess? No, you Jax. Is it, is it not? Correct! Nia Jax is correct. Ashley goes straight up to $15. Mikey's at $5. Ashley, pick a number. One this through ten. fair. Ashley was just that raw. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley. Uh, yeah. Uh, nine. Number nine. Oh, okay. I think this. Oh, well, actually, Ashley could get this, I guess. But I think this one's super hard. Why do we oh, keep God. doing this? Just hit it. Just hit it. I know this. I, I actually, I think I know this. All okay, right, do you guys have a guess? I can't picture the person in my head right now. You said Damien Priest. All right, we have a, game, a guess for Damien Priest. Is that correct? No, it's not. I, have, oh. I, I literally have the person in my head. I can't think of their name, though. It's not Damien Priest. Ashley, you go from $15 down to 10 Is it Chad Gable? Is it Chad Gable? <laughs> Incorrect. Mikey's down to $0. Zero dineros. Ashley's at $10. The thing about the lifelines, though, is that they help each other, so you still helpfully help. The correct answer to the game, uh, number 10, what was it, number 9, uh, Spear to Win for Nikki Ash. Nikki Ash. Uh, I never would have guessed that. Yeah, just a horrendous song, in my opinion. <laughs> uh, Mikey, number 1 through 10. Uh, Ashley's third. Uh, I thought, no, she did number 9. I just went. Oh, right, uh, 1. Number 1. Um. Okay, hold on. I gotta gotta pull it up. The thing is about WWE is that they've released so much garbage that like I have to scroll through and find it. Okay, here we go. Number one. That's like. Correct! Mikey goes up to $10. Ashley's at also number 10. So congratulations to both of you. That is, cur in fact, Kane. That's Man on Fire off the soundtrack. Voices. Uh, Ashley, do you have another uh, number? 1 through the 10. First, the first note, I was like, I got it. Yeah, exactly. Easy. Easy peasy. Ashley. Uh, number 4. My favorite one on the list. Here you go. Number 4. Mikey was wrong. <laughs> Is that just the opening bumper? <laughs> Ashley, do you have a guess? Yeah, it's the freaking opening. Is, does that have a name? The opening of what? It's WWE's opening. <laughs> Is it? What do you want to call it? Today? The, the, the tomorrow, now forever? forever? Yeah. Correct! That's the only intro <laughs> then now for the WWE then now, Network. Then now forever. For the WWE Network. Both of you guys have $20, so you're really... T I was Wait. like, who is this? And then I heard the one thing and I was like, what? Was that on Spotify? It took me off yes. so much that I almost just spit out my drink. That is on Spotify on Uncaged number nine. <laughs> dun, dun. Um, uh, Mikey, your turn. Uh, four. Four. We just did four? Uh, five. Okay, moving on five. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see if you guys have to, might have to use a lifeline for this one. We'll find out. Here we go, number five. Chief Lee! Chief Lee! Chief Lee! Do you guys have a guess? <laughs> Do you guys have a guess? Let it be. Possibly. Maybe. The limitless one, Keith Lee. Yeah. Correct! You guys are both up at to $30 each. You guys are really making it tough on me, I think, um, on that one. So congratulations. Keith Lee is correct. Ashley, next get next number, my music thing. Uh, two? Number two. Number two. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man, I'm gonna be broke after uh, this game. Uh, okay. They just subtract our AEW losing. Yeah, subtract our AEW <laughs> losing because we lost a lot. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Number two. Yeah. Three six mafia. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, yeah. Whoa. Ashley, what's your guess? <laughs> you don't know this one. It's who I, I don't know this one. Do you have a guess? That was it. Yeah, think think about this one, guys. Think about this one. What are you that thinking? Was it that wasn't Mark Henry because Mark Henry is an AEW? Is it Mark Henry? Is that your guess? Is that a final guess? My my final guess is Mark Henry. Ashley, do you have a guess? Who would work with Three Six Mafia? Three Six. You mean Three Six Mafia? I want that on my soundboard. Because it sounded like it sounded like the intro to Mark Henry's old theme song, but Mark Henry's not in WWE anymore. But it's this is modern. The, the, too. This is a modern category, so I'm. Willing, I think I'm willing to keep. Yeah, I, I, I'm going Mark Henry. I'm sticking with my guns here. Ashley. Mm. I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. Are you passing? Yeah, I'm passing that one. Or, or would you like to use a lifeline? A lifeline. I can use a lifeline. Ooh, what lifeline would you like to use? Would you like to spend a dollar? You can spend a dollar to find out their championship accomplishments. Two dollars to get five more seconds of the song. Or three dollars, uh, and I tell you the name of the song. Um, can I spend three dollars? Mm-hmm. I'll tell you the name of the song. The name of the song is Somebody's Gonna Get It. Okay, so that, that, that makes me more confident in my answer. Okay. <laughs> Ashley? Then I'll just copy Mike here. <laughs> Correct! Yeah, because I definitely heard it about to go into somebody's going to get the ass kicked, and I was like, yeah! <laughs> there we go, there we go. You guys both got it correct. That was Mark Henry indeed. Ashley, do you have another number here? Um, a lot of numbers off the board. Yeah, we have not picked two, three, six, eight, and ten. Didn't I just pick two? Yes, you did pick two. Uh, so, th oh, so that's actually Mikey's turn. So, Mikey, three, six, eight, ten. Six. Number six. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let's see if y'all can get this one correct. Uh, can I pay two dollars for five more seconds because that was about to go into a bit of a jam and I want to hear it. <laughs> I just, just want to hear the song. I have the money to burn. That guitar was hot. Whew, that was spicy. Oh, baby. That was a spicy lick. Does anyone have a guess? Dirty dogs. It's such a, it's such a, this, this it's definitely not the dirty dog. Sound effects of the beginning are so crunchy. It's definitely not the dirty dog. Um, I'm going to go. Oh, man. Ashley, what are you thinking? God, I don't know. Does he? The only people I'm thinking of is like Tucker, not Tucker. That's what the I was other thinking. One, I, I, Otis. Otis. I, I feels it feels very country. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I think I think it's like heel Otis though. I think it's like Otis and Chad Gable Otis, not like Heavy Machinery Otis. Mhm. Mm when he's no longer a caterpillar, but instead a butterfly. Yes. I think it's, I think, I'm gonna go with Otis, because I did also feel that in my gut, actually. Like, off the top. So we're gonna get, we have two guesses for Ot Otis. Is it Otis? <laughs> incorrect. It is not Otis. That is, that is incorrect. Mikey's down to 33, Ashley's down to 32. The correct an answer, Big Cass. Mm. Why, how is that modern? That makes sense. <laughs> He's, he's still wrestling. He's in modern, the same reason Mark Henry. It's he's in modern wrestling. He's not. We had Kane. Okay. Like, he's not in retro. Okay. <laughs> he's definitely not in retro at all. 
Um, all right. Um, Ashley, your turn to pick number three, six. Uh, sorry, yes. number three, six, eight, and ten. We just did six. <laughs> three, eight, ten. Eight. Number eight. Okay, here we go. Is it, is this number eight? I know that one. I think I do. Ashley, what's your guess? I don't want to say the wrong thing. Ashley, what's your guess? You got to say it. You already have $32. What do you have to lose besides money in my bank account? Is it Bianca? Is it Bianca? That's... Sorry. Incorrect. Is not Bianca. That's a Ricochet, baby. Oh. It is, in fact, Ricochet. Mikey, That's back. I pick one and only. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mikey, you're up to forty-eight dollars. Ashley, you are down to thirty-two minus five, so twenty-seven. Twenty-seven dollars. I am I the fool. Spending, I need to start spending money on lifelines just to save Ryan's wallet. At this point. <laughs> <laughs> now uh, I'm just starting to feel bad. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Mikey, just start getting them wrong on purpose. <laughs> Mikey, three or ten. <laughs> ten. Number 10, here we go. I got, I got rent due. Um, <laughs> number 10. We're here to show the world. We're here to show the world. Oh my god. The dirty dogs! <laughs> Ashley, do you agree? Yeah. Well, one single. <laughs> It's it's the dirty dogs. So I'm gonna you you said you said you disagreed. So I'm gonna give you a big old X no. there, Ashley. Uh, so Mikey, you're at 58 dineros. Oh, Ashley, the... you're at 22 dollars. You said you're like you know. I was gonna purposely get that one wrong, but then you played the dirty dogs theme song, and I couldn't help myself by saying the dirty dogs. Never. When in doubt, dirty dog it out. You know that's I've always said that. My that's on my yearbook. <laughs> <laughs> That's in my yearbook. Okay, let's go to the last one. Last one of the game. Can you guys guess the first... Who, which wrestler is attributed to the first five seconds of this song? Hey, can you hear what I say? Gonna be a hard Fuck, I do know this one. I remember that line, it's gonna be a hard pill to swallow. You should use some lifeline. <laughs> You have plenty of lifelines to spend. Can I get five more seconds? Five more seconds. Here we go. Hey, can you hear what I say? Gonna be a hard yeah. oh, na, 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 na. Oh. I am a hard... I don't know if those five seconds helped. I don't know. Name of the song. Uh, sure. Five, uh, that is, uh, that it brings you down to what? Uh, $52? No, yeah, 52 Fifty-three dollars. Right, uh, the, the, the name of the song is "Hard Pill to Swallow." Who <laughs> would have guessed? Can I get this person's title accomplished? Yeah, sure. I guess, bud. You know, you know, you're really spending your money, and I don't think that's a good idea. I'm doing it because I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? Because I'm not making you give me fifty dollars for a dumb game. Fifty-two dollars. <laughs> where, where one of the answers had the person's name in the song. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, I don't need this cash. I got money to burn. I'm making, I'm making ten figures a week. Um, I think like action figures, money, <laughs> action figure money. <laughs> I got, I got making action figure money. Eight figures, baby. I'm Zack Ryder in this bitch. <laughs> um, their accomplishments are they are. Six-time Raw tag, six-time Raw and SmackDown tag team champions. They are a former um, three-time United States champion, a four-time Intercontinental champion, and they are a WWE champion. So a lot of titles held by this one individual. We're very accomplished. I didn't realize they were that accomplished. I, I literally have no idea. Do you really have no clue? I actually don't know. I, I it, like it, it. It definitely sounds familiar, but can I place it? Absolutely not. Like, like I know my brain has heard that song before, but I cannot place to who who, who it was. 
I don't know if you can hear my cat squealing in the background. Ashley, do you have a guess? Oh, man. What were the accomplishments one more time? Oh my god, six-time Raw and also SmackDown Tag Team Champion, four-time IC Champion, three-time U.S. Champion, um, three-time normal straight-up Tag Team Champion, um, and the, a former WWE Champion. WWE. Like Michael Cole. Michael Cole, baby. WWE Champion. Mm-hmm. No clue. I have no clue. Really? With really? With accolades, I still, like... Like, that name sounds... Like, the song definitely sounds so familiar. I just cannot put it to a person for the life of me right now. I need some guesses. Um... Don't I need some guesses. Don't list of WWE champions in my head. Is it maybe? And his name is John Cena! <laughs> oh my god. Who was a former WWE... Who was who was in a ton of tag teams and then was a WWE champion? Besides like Kofi Kingston. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. You're not that guy. I love Trust that me. meme. Trust me, yeah. You're not that guy. <laughs> You're not that guy. You ever see the th the, the meme where it's like my pronouns are, are <laughs> I'm a guy, my pronouns are he, but not him, because I'll never be him. Oh yeah, that's a very good one. Does anyone have a guess? I'm gonna need a guess here, folks. We gotta wrap up this episode. Uh, I've given you all that I can. I know, and I still don't know. Like, who's who's a who's a tough pill to swallow? A hard pill to swallow, who's a hard sir. Pill to swallow? Oh God. Mm -hmm. Could used to be a WWE champion, huh? Used to be a WWE champion. Is it? Brian Kendrick. Brian Kendrick, is that your guess? He was he was a WWE champion at one point, technically. Is that your guess? Yes. <laughs> Incorrect, <laughs> sir. How dare you say it? You need to you need to take off money from me. <laughs> yes, forty seven dollars from Mikey Ashley. Twenty two dollars on the board. Can you at make it thirty two? No, I can't. What's your no guess? Clue. You really have no clue. Genuinely. Can I Genuinely. take one more guess and if I get it wrong, you can triple the money you take away? Sure. Uh, Rikishi. <laughs> mm, no, and because of that strategy, you're down to $32, you fool. Good. Ashley, if you get this right, I'll give you $50. What? I don't, I don't want your money. Like, what do you we're mean? Trying, we're me, I have, I have, we're actively trying to get rid of our money. Yeah, so you don't seriously. have to pay us so much. Daddy, chill. <laughs> I hate it so much. Ashley, I'm gonna need a guess if you get this right. Fifty dollars in your bank account. Mm, hard pill to swallow. Who would be a hard pill to swallow? Just do it. Gonna need, I guess. Um, who's been wrestling for a while? Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Incorrect. And because of that, oh. you lose fifty dollars. So I'm gonna need twenty-two dollars minus fifty. <laughs> okay. That wasn't the deal. <laughs> twenty-two dollars minus fifty. That's twenty-eight dollars owed to me. So thank you, everybody, for playing the five-second song challenge. You're not even going to tell us who it was? It was... And his name is... And no. his name is... And his name is... Kofi Kingston. It was Kofi. <laughs> it was oh Kofi. You said it, you fool. have gone with my gut, too. Oh, my God. No, because how... When was that Kofi's theme song? 
when he first started ECW days, baby. It's gonna be oh, a hard pill to swallow. My, my brain wasn't on Kofi because I was like, he has the New Day song, and then he had the uh, the boom, boom, boom one that. And so I, didn't, I never remembered the other one. I believe this was before his boom, boom, boom days. Clearly. <laughs> the boom, boom, boom I era. I, I thought I thought that was Kofi's original theme song. That's why I didn't guess Kofi. Because my name, my brain was like, who's held tag team titles and WWE championships like that much besides any one of the New Day? And then apparently it was it was Kofi. I'm so mad at myself. Why are you mad at yourself? I should have said that. You should have said that. Um, hey, I, I, I did say it and just didn't guess it. You didn't guess it. You guys didn't. You guys disappointed me greatly on this one. I didn't think it was. Alright, um, Mikey, I just Venmo you. Ashley, I'm expecting that one. I think I, I think the bill's gonna come due. I think I really do. I really do think that bill's gonna come due, and I think that bill's gonna come quite nicely in my bank account. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, that's been our show. <laughs> we, we, we drove Ryan. <sighs> I'm I'm poor now. I'm poor now. I think that's that's the sake. Uh, guys, anything to plug? Yeah, go check out Independent Waters every Wednesday here on the Cat Out Network, where me and Zach Batista take you through the independent wrestling scene. Whether you're an entrenched indie wrestling fan or you're new to this scene, I think you'll like the show either way, because you're either getting a new match to check out or you're getting a, a match you've seen and have, uh, have have different people have different opinions on. So go check it out every Wednesday here on the Cat Out Network. We uh, we definitely have we've had some good ones lately, so definitely go check it out over there. And we're back from break. We had a little one week hiatus. Ashley. Oh my god. I'm not as uh, eloquently spoken as Mikey, but um, you can listen to How to Talk to Your Friend About Wrestling every Thursday. Um, you can find us on Instagram at How to Talk Wrestling Pod or Twitter at HTTW Pod. You can find me at The Kitten Spa on Twitter. And that's pretty much it. I love it. I love it. Thank you, everybody, for listening to uh, Happy Hour. Uh, I think this was a very solid episode, and I think right, the sound- do you have any plugs? Uh, yeah, I, listen, subscribe to Happy Hour. It's going to be a very important for y'all to subscribe and for the for the life of this show. I'm very appreciative of it because the more people that subscribe, the more um, of a chance I can earn back some back that 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 cash. I think I I think I really need to earn back that cash, and I think I think with Ashley's donation, I think it's going to be very very nice and good and and right. I think it's going to be right, and I think that's for me. I think that, and I'm still waiting on it. I'm still waiting on the Venmo transaction to hit my thing. And you know, it's it's, it's coming. It's it's coming. I'm gonna tell you that much. I'm gonna tell you that much. If you subscribe, if you please, please, please subscribe to the podcast. I can't. I anyway, can't, anyway, I can't bye. I can't do it. Ryan, Ryan, uh, Ryan. I believe you have a new show on the network. Goodbye.